Hey guys, in this video I want to cover updating to version 7.0.7 .7 of the Ultimate FPS Framework. Now this is for people that are on basically a version that is on version 7, but before 7.0.7. .7. So 0.6 for example. Now the reason I'm making this is because there was a change done to the uh, firearm class involving a reparent, which unfortunately, which this is quite, kind of sad because it's been in the issue basically since UE4 ever existed, same thing on UE5, it will corrupt your blueprint. So I'm basically going to show you how to resolve it. And it's really quite simple, it's not bad at all, but anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and get in. Now I have, it's the version on this plugin, or on this project right now, is technically 7.0.7, .7, but it was, it's basically 7.0.6. .6. I just renamed it and copied it over, but it's missing all the new changes. So what we're going to do, here I have my Marketplace folder with the new plugin. I'm actually going to go ahead and close down the editor real quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut out of the Marketplace folder. Screw you, go away. Go to Plugins, and I'm going to, I'm in the wrong folder. Go to the Plugins folder, delete the old FPS framework, and paste the new one in. Now, the reason I recommend you delete the old one is for the case of basically uh, stacking binaries. So you might not, it might not, you know, get rid of your binaries and intermediates. Like it might not replace them. So you might end up with duplicates just gradually increasing your size. From there, if you have a C++ project, it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and regenerate project files. So in my case, I do. Uh, in your case, you probably don't have to if you're on a Blueprint project, which you, if you have this issue, you may have to convert to a C++ project. And I'll show you how to do that and then revert back here in a second. So let me finish this. Okay, now that that's done, uh, basically you can see the new class under the plugins, public actors. You'll see there's a firearm base class now. So firearm is basically the normal class that you are using. Firearm base is a new one, and it is the parent of the firearm. So anyways, now that that's done, let's go ahead and run the project, get everything opened up. Now that it's doing that, I, I think there might've been some changes from the version I'm on to when to the new version with the attachment. So I might have to fix some small stuff there, but we'll see. All right, yeah, so there's some small stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and I'll go through and I'll show you an example on how to fix these, which most likely you will not actually have this problem. But under the TC attachment component, we have this issue of component name. So basically if I search for component name off the uh, attachment, we now have some getters. So get component name, get name string, and get name text, which basically auto convert it. So you can plug it directly in without having to do any sort of casting because I changed the uh, component name from a F text to a F name instead. And most likely it's going to be kind of the same thing. So go there, get, yeah, same thing. So let me finish these up. Okay, so this one on the uh, character here. This is because this got renamed as well as because it's more of a general use, I guess you could say system now. It's changed from on fire and pose finished to, if you just search for pose finished, on held actor pose finished. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna bind that event and replace it with that, even though it's not used for anything, but you know, still. So I'm gonna do that to the other character really quick. That'll be this example. Find event, plug it in. Oh, wait. That actually gets plugged in down there as well. I gotta make sure I do that for the old one. That I missed. Okay, so now we're at the point that I really wanted to show you. So that's with the firearms themselves. So if I load up the blueprint for, I'll say it's gonna load. For this guy, you can see it's a bad blueprint. That's because they're all the getters for firearm mesh, they, so they technically still exist, but there's been a change. So the change being you no longer have to worry about, well, never, this is more so for VR use, but you no longer have to have, well, you get the choice of static or a skeletal mesh for your firearm mesh. Same thing goes with setting it up. So for example, you can see here, there's no longer a skeletal mesh for the firearm mesh. So what we need to do is just add a skeletal mesh. You can make that the new parent and let's make that the M4 receivers. It'll fix itself when you actually save it. File save. 
And then for the getter, what you can do is you can either use the firearm mesh, which I should have functions for, uh, oh yeah, it's just get firearm mesh. I really thought I had some casting ones, but basically you replace firearm mesh with this skeletal mesh. And then what you want to do as well to make sure, select your skeletal mesh, go to tag, give it the component tag of SKG firearm. And that'll take care of that. It'll automatically set the firearm mesh just from that alone. So same thing, paste it in. And again, this is just for the example content. So your mileage may vary a bit. You can directly get the firearm mesh if you want, cast it to a skeletal mesh, and you'll have the same result. But there we go. I close that down. I actually need to reopen that at some point. But let's go ahead and fix up the tutorial M4 because we're going to do both of these to show you an example with multiple firearms. So again, exact same deal. Let's go ahead and add a skeletal mesh. And I'm make that the parent. I'm trying to remember which one this was. It was like AT or no, AR4. I'm going to assume it was this guy. Yeah, that looks right. So we're going to save that, click on it, give it the component tag of SKG firearm. I'll save. Let's go ahead and drag this out, copy it, and start replacing all of the firearm mesh uses. So just keep going. That should only be three in total. Just like so. So now that's done. I actually need to reposition it's just some small stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. I'd say that's good enough for the time being, anyways. But now we have our, you know, our firearm pretty much good to go. Now you might notice that when we click the attachment manager, this is the other thing, the part of the corruption. So with the attachment manager, you can see the details panel is no longer accessible. That is that blueprint issue that is basically plagued, or that issue that is plagued blueprint really as far as I'm aware, since UE4's basically release. But uh, basically, what will happen, let me make sure I save all really quick. Where's three directors? And this should hopefully stop printing. But when we hit play, we're going to get a crash, just like so. And the crash will be something about the attachment manager. So get all attachment components from the attachment manager. Now, the reason that's happening is because even though the attachment manager technically exists and is valid, something along the lines in Blueprint, as it was added, like, it's even there, it's in the C++ class, but something in Blueprint just corrupts it. I don't know what it is. I don't even know why it actually happens, but it does. Now, the way to resolve this is we go to SKG Firearm Base .h and .cpp. Very simple. So line 25, where we have the U property for the attachment manager, comment that out, go to the .cpp, find the line 21 for the attachment manager, U tools create default sub object. Again, comment it out and basically just compile. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch, which will also compile it. All right, now that we've relaunched, let's go ahead and open the asset editor or the asset back up. So here's that M4 again. And you can see there's no, um, what do you call it? Attachment manager. So I want to open that. I want to open up my other firearm, which in the example content. So I'm just going to have both of these open. I really need to reposition some of this, but all we have to do is just hit compile, save, compile, save. Once we've done that, close the editor. We're going to uncomment those lines with the two forward slashes and just compile and relaunch. All right. Let's go ahead and load up the two blueprints. And if we clicked on the attachment manager, you can see we now have the details panel back. So we know that our blueprints are now good to go and resolved. So just going to go ahead and save. And when I hit play, we no longer get a crash. And yeah, I know the muzzle's up there, but everything is good to go like before. So that's really all there is to it. It's not complicated. But I did mention that I want to show you for Blueprint projects. Now, let's assume this is a Blueprint project. How can you go from a Blueprint project to a C++ project, and then if you really want to, which I don't recommend, go back to a Blueprint project? So what you can do is up here on Tools, 
just hit new C++ class and you can just create a none, just next, then hit create class. What that's gonna do is that's going to generate the solution. It's gonna generate all the project files and everything like that that you would need. Once that is all done, close down your editor. Close, there we go. Then you wanna open up the solution and you will be met with basically, yours is probably gonna be different because I'm assuming you're on Visual Studio, but something like this. But you'll have your solution explorer either on the left-hand side or I think on Visual Studio, it defaults to the right-hand side for docking. But you just go to Games, Plugins, Source, Ultimate FPS Framework, go to Public, Actors, SKG, Firearm Base.h, open that up, comment out this line here. Then you can control left or uh, left control left click on SKG Firearm Base, this constructor here on line 20. Then comment out this line, compile, launch your project do the compile and save at the blueprint, then close it, come back, uncomment this line, and uncomment this line, then compile and launch your blueprint or your project again. And once you've done that, all you really have to do is you can just go to your content folder and I'll go to tutorial. Here's my M4, just simply move it to your desktop. Do the same thing for the other guy, wrong folder. So here's the other M4. Just move that also to your desktop. And then what you can do is you can go back in your version control, so like Git, and roll back the changes. So that way, you're back on a Blueprint project. And once you've done that, all you can you really need to do is just drag those Blueprints back in. So tutorial, and back in there. And that's it. So that'll allow you to fix your blueprints from basically, it resolves you having to recreate them, but it allows you to fix your blueprints and then revert back to a blueprint project and move the fixed blueprints back into your project. It's, that's really all I can do to explain it. But anyways, I hope that helps. And as always, if you need any more help, again, I know this video is a little bit on the long side, but that's because I wanted to go in a little more detail and kind of explain this. But if you need any more help, Hop in my Discord and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.